Hey everyone, Jason here from Off The Beaten Path. This is probably gonna be my last video, assuming I get it edited and uploaded for 2021. Um, this is a quick product review and product demonstration. So for those that don't recognize it, this is the Exped Mega Mat. It is probably the best air mattress that I've ever used. I've been using this camping for the last three years. I've used it um, up in the high country in cold conditions. I've used it in hot conditions and there's a lot I really like about it. And there was just one thing that bugged me a little bit with it. Um, and that's with this little guy here, Solves. So the thing with self-inflating mattresses is it's generally recommended that when you store them, you store them inflated, which I don't do. So let's, now this is the Mega Mat, so it's 1400 wide. And just open the inlet valve, close the outlet valve there. Now if I leave that sit there, it will slowly inflate over time and get to a point where there's some degree of inflation. And then the idea is you use this little guy that comes packed in the bag to inflate it. So you've got the valve there that clips on, just like so. And on a flat surface, you put pressure on it and you pump like so. Thing is, this guy is not the most efficient of pumps at all. So what I found is because I leave this usually in the dock trailer, ready for a camping trip rolled up, I can leave it for an hour or two like this and it will inflate to a point. And then I've usually got about 10 minutes with this thing to get it to the point where I like it. This is the XPEG, XPED widget. So this has literally just arrived in the box. It is that big, literally. Uh, and it actually comes pre-charged, hence I can do this video. So um, the buttons are on the side here. Um, you can use it as a light, a USB charger, all kinds of things, um, but obviously it's an inflator. So the other thing with these is with the round valves that they have, no air compressors will actually readily hook up to them. Okay, there's something to be said for reading the manual as opposed to trying to do an unboxing live on video. So there was this uh, extra little box in the bottom of the box, which I thought just had the USB charging lead. What it did have was this little adapter here which um, is notched to fit with the pump because I was struggling to fit the pump. So the little adapter just fits into the pump, like so. Still a snug fit. And that actually pushes in. And then the pump will actually fit into the Exped valve here, as you'd expect and then two presses so feature with this to so it's not act, accidentally activated two press so one press doesn't do anything two presses and it starts to inflate now i'm going to let this go in real time so you can see how long this little pump actually takes to inflate the, the full mega mat this is the first time for me as well Really impressive. Not actually getting hot, a little bit of vibration, but you can see, now I know this is self-inflating, but um, as I said, you know, that doesn't really prove true if you don't store them inflated in between use. So that's really starting to shape up quite well. Now the thing I love about the Exped mattresses is with the foam inside they're really really stable. I actually find this is pretty much just as good a night's sleep as your full mattress in your bed at home. Um, so it's without doubt the best inflatable mattress I've ever used. Um, it is a little bit bulky as you saw when I unpacked it but then it's, it's a double mattress designed for two people. I'm a big guy so I kind of like having this to myself. I have a Darche. 1400 sleeping bag as well that 
works really well with this. Um, I am so impressed with this. This is super easy, obviously. And um, no effort at all, it's nearly fully inflated. So some people, look, it wouldn't even get that firm if I left it for a couple of hours self-inflating, it really wouldn't. Um, some people would probably sleep on it at that level of firmness. For me, I like it just a little bit firmer than that. And as I said, this is straight out of the box. I haven't even charged this pump up yet, so really impressive. I can only imagine how that sound of that pump's gonna come through on the video. We might have to edit that out and do a voiceover, we'll see. Okay, that's done. That's about as firm as I would have it normally um, to actually sleep on. So. These are about 60 bucks. They weigh nothing at all. As I was saying earlier, they do have a, a little light feature as well. Allegedly, you could hang that up and use it as a light. Frankly, and it's got a couple of settings there, I don't personally see that happening. Do I see myself using this to inflate this mattress? Absolutely. Um, really happy with it. As far as I'm concerned, that's 60 bucks well spent. If you're looking at the Xped gear, you know that the Xped Mega Mat is not cheap. Um, it's certainly not one of the cheaper air mattresses or self-inflating mattresses out there, but really, really super comfortable. This, um, this finish on the top is really warm. It's easy to clean. It doesn't sweat in when it's hot weather as well. I just, yeah, I like everything about it. The only thing I didn't like was how hard it was to inflate. And they've now solved that releasing this little guy. So yeah, really happy. Um, hope you find this useful. Um, it's a really short review of the Xped Mega Mat, I know, um, but if you've got any questions, put them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.